Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to verify the text inside a text box field is present or not using Selenium automation. Let me answer. In Selenium web driver library, we have a command known as get attribute command to which we have to pass the attribute name of the element that is value. Okay. Attribute name of this text box field that is value attribute name we have to pass. The value of this value attribute is nothing but the text that is stored inside the text box. Okay. That is there inside the text box. Okay. Using this command with this by providing this value attribute name, we can retrieve the text that is there inside the text box. And once it is received, okay, retrieved, we can compare it with whatever the text we are expecting to be there in the text box. And if they both match, then the test will pass because of some test change assertions and all, the text can pass. So again, let me practically demonstrate how to do this stuff. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample selling him automation code already written inside the, okay, test ng test, okay? And here, this will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, and here it will open the application URL. So let me open this application URL, seomai.blogspot.com. Once the URL is open, paste it here. And once the URL is pasted here, I would like to retrieve this particular text, okay? So first of all, I'll write spring expected text, uh, expected text, okay? Expected text is equal to whatever the text that I'm expecting to be there in that text box field, that is the uh, Selenium web driver text should be there. Selenium web driver. And using automation, I would like to retrieve the same similar, same text. That is, uh, I would like to inspect this. Uh, and uh, using this uh, ID, okay? I'll copy this ID. I'll copy this ID. Text box one, okay? So driver dot find element by dot uh, ID provide the ID locator and dot get attribute. You have to use this command, right? Get attribute. And uh, for the get attribute, where is this particular text that is there in this text box field stored? It's stored as a value of this value attribute. So give the value attribute. Copy this uh, name of the value attribute and paste it here. So this command will get the value of this value attribute, which is nothing but this Selenium web driver text that is there in the text box. Field. And uh, it will return in the form of a spring. So here spring actual text, okay, is equal to. Now I need to compare this expected text with actual text to see whether uh, we have a uh, proper text, okay, uh, that is there inside the text box field. We have to verify the text uh, text that is there in the text box field or not, okay, is correct or not. For that, I'll write assert, since it is a test and Test, I can simply write assert dot assert equals assert dot assert equals and just uh, take one thing and here do one thing here. First one is actual. Second one is expected actual. Actual, I'll say this is actual text. Okay. That we have retrieved. And in the second one, you have to give expected. Okay. Expected value. And if they both match, the test will pass. Otherwise, they will, the test will fail. I'll simply quit the browser. Now run the script, right click run as a. Uh, Test and test. That's it. Let's see here what's going to happen. It will pass the test because whatever the expected text is uh, will be retrieved by the Selenium also, and will store into the actual text. They both will match, and the test will pass. Okay, the test got pa passed. You see, the test got passed. That means whatever the actual text is matching with the expected text. Right? And the asset equals is comparing these two texts. If both are equal only, it will pass the test. Okay, since the test got passed, we can assume that we got Selenium web driver text retrieved from the text field. Okay, and we have verified it successfully. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.